rapid method of dispersing a group of head teachers is to mention computers, or worse still, computer games. But two minutes is all I ask, just two minutes. It could change lives and help this country regain its edge in a growingly important global industry. Perhaps it would help if I say from the start that everything I'm about to mention is free. All you see here does not cost a penny. Just download the program from the internet and run it on your own machines. Now I have your attention, let's push my luck a little bit and use the geeky term environment. Here's an environment, a graphical environment, and it's beautifully simple. It's a basic terrain, but we can make it more interesting by raising hills, adding trees, and moving our position in three dimensions. Let's drop a few apples around the place, adjust their size, and add a suitably annoying character. Now, the most powerful part, programming. Programming here reduces everything to simple steps. We build up basic lines that tell him when to do something. So, when he sees an apple, he is to move towards it. When he bumps into the apple, he eats the apple. It's as simple as that. Press play and check the behaviour of the program. If it's good, save and share your world with others. Of course, this is a very basic program, but the commendable achievement of this package is that it's appealing and beautifully simple. Of course, this simplicity belies some of the really advanced interactions that can be achieved. With time, very complex situations may be constructed. The result of intermixing combinations of events and outcomes are only limited by one's imagination. It's game creation, problem solving, storytelling, and a whole lot more. A self-taught teacher can become proficient and confident in the use of the options in just a few days. This program has benefits for all ages, but as this video is being produced, the BBC are currently filming a sequence where children as young as six are happily generating worlds. Don't write off games as being childish. They now leave non-interactive environments such as film in the shade. Even the Chancellor in this week's budget had to acknowledge how important this seemingly trivial industry is.